creation, the universe, other galaxies, evolution, and the Big Bang Theory. Where does the secular meet the sacred when it comes to the realm of science and mathematics? Right here on MANO. side equipment how can you determine which is the trick die answer simply by rolling in a series of tests it would be unlikely for a die with no outside influences to have a disproportionate result than the regular die because of the odds not being in that favor when it comes to outcomes but why? It's because you have reasoned what were the odds of each outcome. And with the probability being low, you concluded that it was unlikely simply because the odds were not in the disproportionate favor. Here's the mental math you did subconsciously without knowing to determine the truth. It is probability times outcome divided by hypothesis one resulting in a highly likely probability versus probability times outcome divided by hypothesis two resulting in a low likelihood of probability. Well, this is the basis of our universe existing in the manner that it currently stands. Our universe is that loaded die. For the outcome to result in such a disproportionate manner, it must be acted upon by an outside force because how unlikely the odds of us existing were are quite frankly, statistically near impossibilities. Let's do it by the numbers. We'll use a simple graph. We'll use Mendelia pundit squares. At the top, the likelihood of God existing versus not existing for our columns. And in our rows, the probability of us existing with us not existing. Now we can cross off God existing or not existing while we ourselves do not exist. For that was already proven through Descartes, the Christian philosopher, with his phrase, I think, therefore I am. For us to exist or be deceived into believing that we exist, we must therefore exist. Next, our second two probabilities of us existing while God does not exist versus us existing while God does exist. The odds of us existing with God existing would be one out of one million. While us existing while God does not exist, our odds are one out of a billion billions chance. For us to exist and God to exist simply by the numbers is more rational statistic. And here are those numbers and odds visually. With the likelihood of that probability being an outcome using the theory of fine tuning. Let's take the Big Bang at face value, and a bunch of spiraling gases swirling into an explosion created the perfect order out of chaos. From the initial explosion, if the speed was any faster with the dispersing of particles, there would not be enough time for the material to cool, unable to make a matter and creating nothingness. On the other hand, if the explosion was any slower, it would cool and collapse on itself, creating a black hole. Sitting in between nothingness 
in an infinite black hole is our universe. The theory of fine tuning suggests that the odds of this singularity probability is astronomical and it is a higher probability that God exists fine tuning the outcomes rather than the result of a matter of random happens. Just so you can get a sense of how improbable our universe existing in a manner in which it stands, a billion is one with nine zeros. One billion billions is one with 18 zeros. In terms of money, if you had a hundred dollar bill, it would be a hundred dollars to the 16th power. It would be a thousand dollars to the 15th power. It would take one trillion millionaires and a billion billionaires. There are currently 2,604 billionaires worldwide. That is 3.8 to the 14th power number of generations. Improbable. So statistically and mathematically, the probability of us existing with no outside force acting upon the situation are astronomical. And simply put, I don't have enough faith to believe in such illogical odds. If you want to read more about the odds of us existing when it comes to the numbers, the science, logic, reason, and rhetoric, two books that are covered in this video are I Don't Have Enough Faith to be an atheist and the case for Christ. They are linked below and also in the bio in the description box. On this episode, we explore the existence and probability of a Christian God by the numbers. But on part two, we'll be exploring it by the elements. Instead of mathematical evidence, we'll be investigating scientific proof that God exists. And remember, God is holy and Jesus has come to save us from our sins and ourselves if we repent and believe. For Jesus will return soon to judge us, granting to us eternal life um, or eternal damnation. He forgives us and baptizes us with his Holy Spirit so we can be born again. And this is what we pray for. Thank you for watching. You have tuned in to The Blessing Report with our new show, Manna. A look into Christian apologetics. We're exploring faith in the validity of the Bible through science, history, mathematics, logic, and reasoning. Imagine if Jesus narrated the Discovery Channel. Tune in next week.